Hey everyone, it's Brandy. You're watching Abstract Crafter. And I want to get this thing refilled. They don't, I can't find refills. I've been told that there are refills. You know, if this was just the $4.99 that I paid for it, then I wouldn't mind, you know, uh, just buying a new one. But it's actually skyrocketed to up to almost $8. Like, seriously, I that's one thing I hate about Amazon sometimes is when they do that. So I've already tried pulling this plug out. I just can't grab it. So if you didn't see what I did, I unscrewed it from there because that's how you push the product up in here anyway. Oh, and I've seen people do this. Oh, my gosh. See, mine does not want to come out. I don't know how people get theirs out. I need something to grip. What do I got? What do I got? Oh, a headband. Let's grab a headband. Because I just don't have the grip I want. Yeah, I don't know how people are getting these out. So we are going to struggle together because I have been told repeatedly that it's possible get that plug out and I don't understand why it doesn't hmm. Hmm. Ah! stab myself I'm not buying it I don't want to break my hook hand tweezers so let's just Oh, look at that. It's actually kind of working. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of prying it a little, little by little. And then once I get it up more, I will see if the tweezers will then. I'm determined to get this thing apart. Oh, it's coming. That sounds so dirty, I'm sorry. I've been wanting to do this for a little while now. I just don't know how everybody else gets it so easily. <laughs> I wonder if it's because that stuff is like, I don't know, if you can see like right there, if that's what's causing it to like stick more we will get this we will get this I do not give up on things especially when I can see progress being made we will get it we will oh it's coming I almost got it holy crap that was a lot more difficult than I thought so I'm going to refill it with the blue sticky wax, uh, the fun tack, but I want, obviously, oh, see, be careful. This thing is a lot more sharp than it comes off to be. Well, give me a moment so I can go get a band-aid. Jeez, what an idiot. Hope I don't get, well, I can't get demonetized because I'm not monetized. <laughs> I wanted to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this stuff out. I was going to try to, I know you're probably just all gasping at the fact that I'm using my hua can so, tweezers, but I have another pair. Oh, hold on. I had blood on my finger there. Oh, my goodness. It was my, I thought I could scrape it out. And I would just stick it in this pan because I forgot to grab a little cup. Because I love the stuff inside the pick-me-up pan. Uh, it's reminds me of that Aliens Tacket. And I still have not been able to find that. And I don't really want to buy it online and pay a crap ton of money. I'm thinking 
Now, I know you guys are all probably screaming at me because you would be doing this way different. But what I'm trying to do is push it all in more so that I can just fill it up with the blue tack. So I'm just trying to shove it till it comes out. I, I think that this stuff lasts a lot longer. I did like the pick me up pen if I was working on rounds, but with squares, it was harder to see what I was doing. So I did see that there is another brand that looks almost identical to the pick me up pen and I'm gonna actually buy it and compare them. It's gonna be kinda hard to compare as far as, oh yuck, as far as what's inside, but I, since I used almost the entire pen, I should be able to have a good basis based on that. So we'll see. Oh! So I don't know if I can just start shoving. I have some stuff off camera here that maybe I could try. Like a dirty paintbrush. Oh, jeez, come on. That's got a blunt tip on it. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Apparently a good thing. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. I'm excited to have some more of this stuff. I was at the point where I could not even twist and turn it anymore to get anything out. It was done for. So I'm not really sure how much I can feel this. Like I said, this is the first time ever trying anything like this. But we will definitely give it our best shot. And I've seen, I've heard of other people filling this with pink wax. And, and even if I don't use this, I still find this the easiest way to fill my pen. Like, twisting it up. And I showed it in a different video. But I twist it up just enough and just, you know scrape my pen, my drill pen along it, and it would fill it up perfectly. So even if I don't use it per se, the pen, I like using this as a way to refill my drill pen. Ooh, that was a weird noise. I, did, I swear nothing broke. Ew. So yeah, the, oh, that's not really any good. It's got paint chips in it, so I won't save that part. So yeah, the whole point in this video was to kind of do something a little different. And yeah, the next video will be a drill with me. I still don't even know what canvas I'm going to do. Because I know the wedding picture was the one that won the poll that I had asked you guys in my last get ready to drill with me. But... My containers sold out on me before I could actually purchase them and so yeah I uh, don't have big enough containers and since there's 50 colors it's not exactly easy and I really <sighs> like it I know I have some storage linked in my description box and I want you guys to know that everything that's linked in my description box is tools I actually use but the Elizabeth Ward system I don't I've never used it for diamond painting I do have them well I have a couple for other crafts that I use and I never once thought to use them for diamond painting until I seen other people using them for diamond painting but they're so expensive that I couldn't justify it either, but now I don't know. After seeing how hard it is to find something with 50 pieces, I might just have to order something to kind of see, but then I have to find different storage for the stuff that's inside of them. So just so you, I just wanted to make that clear in case anybody ever wondered that I do everything that is in my description box linked, I own, have owned, or have on order. 
which actually I think most of it has already arrived. So I have an updated supply video in the works. And if you remember from my very first drill with me, I talked about um, a light pad not being necessary just because I don't think it's necessary to buy in the, uh, the times that I've used it have been far and few between. I still have one and I'm gonna, I gave it to my daughter and I'm actually, I actually ordered a different one for myself so that I could start working in other areas of the house. So, as soon as that gets here, I'll do an unboxing style review of it. I already know how it works, and it's the one that's listed in my description box. I personally love it. I think it's awesome. But I just wanted to um, make that clear in case people thought that, you know, I'm just linking things for the sake of linking them. I'm not going to do that. That's just ridiculous. Because what if somebody were to ask me questions about specific things on that list and I didn't own them? That would... How stupid would I look? And if there's one thing that you should know about me, I think I might have put too much in. I don't like to look stupid. I don't know. It's always been a thing since I've been real young. I don't like to look stupid. So now the thing is, how do we get... If we can get this back in... I mean, I don't think it matters if it sticks out a little bit. But we definitely need it to... I think I might have put too much in still. But I never paid attention when I first got this to how much was actually in it. And I know I just went off on a little tangent on you guys. But you should know that about me now. That I'm a tangent kind of gal. And I also wanted to thank everyone who has used my links for Diamond Art Club because of you. I've been able to order some more content for my channel and you know I talk a lot about how I'll never be an unboxing channel and blah 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 blah. That's because honestly I can't afford to be an unboxing channel. And you guys and this is going to be about the only time I ever talk to you guys about money because I don't I think it's I'm not going to say it. I, I'm going to leave my opinion about it. But I don't like talking about money because I don't think that that you should talk to your subscribers about money in that way. About finances and stuff. I just don't. That's my opinion. Other people have different opinions on it. I don't look down on people for having a different opinion. Oh my gosh, I think I got it. Ooh, it's almost wanting to catch. It's so close. Go in, you bastard, you. Oh, so in my so stay tuned for my drill with me because I have a lot of really good updates coming in that one. I always say that, and then I kind of, you know, drop the ball a bit. But I really do this time. See, I think I got two. Oh, wait, no, it's starting to move. It is starting to move. I just got to get that plunger in there more. But I've, it's been a while since I actually gave updates. Well, I guess a week. But. Oh, it just doesn't want to catch. It's like right there. It just won't catch. I just need to get this in just a tiny bit more. I don't know if it's like the old stuff on there that's like preventing it. This is all trial and error, my friends. This is all trial and error. Did I get myself again? Oh my god. I am the most clumsy person in the world, I swear. getting somewhere. Oh. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, I didn't really ruin it because I couldn't use it anymore anyway. I just need to get that plunger in there a little bit more. Because it is starting to push stuff out the top. But it's not like that blue stuff is, you know, you can just tell it what to do all the time, where to go. Gosh, I'm so I keep going backwards on it because it's not catching one way, so I'm hoping. Oh, well, I must have did something because I got a whole bunch to come out. Oh, I have it. I was trying to force it by <laughs> using that plunger, but I don't know how you guys have such an easy time doing this because I am just struggling here and I'm starting to sweat. I'm getting so frustrated. It's twisting in more, so I don't know. Well, I, it's catching. I just need it to push up this stuff now. When, because you know, that's how the pick me up pen works. Is you twist it. Just a little tiny bit and it, nope. You twist it a little bit and it by twisting it, it pushes that product up out of the top. Anybody who's had one of these knows that if you twist it too hard or too far, too much comes out. I might have to get my husband to use his muscles. It's right there. Now it catches. But because I can't get that plunger in more. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how far up that plunger needs to get in there. And I don't know if I can... Let's just see if we can get some of this stuff out. We will accomplish something on here. But see now it's not all that much further than where the white stuff was. See, and this is another reason I should have probably used... Maybe that's why people use the pink wax because you can uh, force it to... You can bend it to your will. I'm just going to try to shove it in there more now. Because you can't really pull it out. It doesn't want to come out. I almost want to hammer it. I don't have a hammer. What do I have? A spray bottle. Let's see if we can get it into the pen now. Oh my god! I got it! I got it! Refilled my pen. <laughs> and it's not falling out. All right, let me scrape off the top. Let's see if we actually got this. A little twist. Yeah, oh my God, it works. Oh. Well, my friends, that is how you struggle through the pick me up pen to refill it. And then if you didn't know, this end comes out and you got, let's see if I can show it to you. You got this end and this works as a scraper in case you get beads in the wrong spot. And you got a very sharp pointy end that works for, I don't know what, 
This is actually a like scrapbooking tool, I believe. It's meant to work with the silhouette tools. So yeah, that's right on the end there. And the first time you take it out, it is very, very hard to get out. Just like this was. But we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Took 20 minutes. And this I'll go stick somewhere. This won't go to waste either. But alright guys. <laughs> with that I'm sweating. And I'm ready to go use my pick me up pen now. <laughs> oh, I hope you have an awesome day friends. Um, have fun diamond painting. I will see you in the next one. Bye.